guys, welcome to the Tarsier 7 Day Review this, which is the Marvel Legends Toy Biz Deathlock from the Galactus Wave. So I may, uh, basically uh, made a video recently talking about how I was going to review Giant Man, and I picked up Deathlock while I was there, and I thought this would be kind of like a fun test review, and as you can see, he looks great in packaging. He has the 39 points of articulation, which is pretty cool, and this is from the Galactus Wave. I don't intend to pick up Galactus, but like I said, I thought this would be kind of like a fun test video before I go super deep into the Giant Man stuff, and um, here's the other characters on the back, and I really like that. I actually have the Gray Hulk, so if I do pick more of these up, I might pick up the green one, we'll see. Um, but anyway, they're pretty cool. And then here's a bio on uh, Deathlock, which is pretty cool. And then there's this little like power grid, and I really like these little different logos. You got Captain America, Daredevil, the Avengers, Fantastic Four, X Men, and Spider Man, so that's pretty cool. And I really like the packaging on here. And then moving down, you have the uh, Locate a Comic Book Service. I don't even know if that number still works, but that thing's pretty cool, and I remember those from back in the day. And then you have the little UPC from 2005. Out of box, we have the comic book here. And I love how all of these come with a comic. I think that's really cool. On the back, you have a little uh, advertisement for the line. And, you know, some some toy lines are trying to do it. McFarlane's kind of brought this back a little bit with the page hunters, but it's still really cool. And then on the inside of the box, you actually have how to build the build a figure, which is really cool, because I never knew these had these. Because, like I I didn't really pick up these a lot and um when I was a kid you know I just don't remember a lot from that but I never knew that you know I mean on Google like the comic book's always kind of blocking the back of the packaging so that's that's actually pretty cool and then speaking of which here's the Galactus uh Galactus piece and it's really big and it's really shiny like it surprised me how shiny the paint is for something that's been in box for so long and then here we have Deathlock and he looks amazing I love the details on the face and the anger and the eyes it just looks good a lot of molded detail on this guy like on his chest all these lines and you also have the backpack for his gun and the metal on his hands and even the arms and stuff it's just really nicely painted it's like a gunmetal grayish silver and it looks really good the boots the armor the detailing it looks like it's kind of like a metal combination and it just looks really good especially like on the hands and i don't think hasbro's given us a six inch death lock in a while so i don't think i actually own any of them so if they have um so this will definitely fit in the collection really nicely and he has like a little hole in the gun and a peg on his hand so he can hold the gun in really well and the finger articulates so that's pretty cool and i like the posing guy I get it it's really cool and um yeah and i like how it's a attached to him too and he can put on his little backpack there so that's kind of neat and it just looks good and in terms of articulation you have a 360 at the head you can look up and down you have uh 360 arms they swing out the shoulder they're also like on a butterfly type joint so that's cool you have a 360 there double jointed wrist or elbows, I don't know why I said wrist, um, you have 360 of the forearm, you also have a hinged wrist and hinged fingers, which are pretty cool, there's a 360 of the torso, and it can look up and down, the legs are on those weird t-ball joints, but they swing out, move around, so that's pretty cool, you do have a 360 of the thigh, it's incredibly stiff though, you do have double joint knees, which are nice, and the boots also rotate around 360, so that's good, and then the feet also move up and down, and then the toes also articulate as well, so in terms of articulation, pretty good, you know, 39 points, um, I think they did a pretty good job on that, you know, if he looks a little clunky in some areas because of it, I think it's pretty cool that he has it. Now, here's a comparison with a six inch Deadpool, and it really surprised me how close uh, these two are in scale. So, like I said, this Deathlock is definitely going to fit in the collection, which is pretty cool. And yeah, and overall, I think they did a really good job with this. You know, you can really see the amount of care that Toy Biz really put into these. Like, there's so much detail going on here, there's so much articulation. And um, yeah, I, I think they did a really good job with this one. And like I said, this is kind of like a test video for when I get into the like the Giant Man stuff. Uh, but I think they did a great job of it. Thanks for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.